Slack's value has risen to $16 billion in pre-listing deals, according to sources familiar with the matter. Ahead of the company's trading debut, some investors are buying stock for more than double the price of last, Slack's last funding round, which valued the company at $7.1 billion. Shareholders have sold the stock in the last few months at prices as high as $25 or $26 dollars a piece this as the company plans to directly list its shares on the new york stock exchange in june or july joining us to discuss bloomberg's ellen hewitt so ellen what's happening here so slack is preparing to go public as we said via direct listing rather than a traditional ipo like spotify just like spotify did last year and in preparation for doing so there's a thing that spotify did that slack it seems based on our reporting is doing as well which is starting to release some of its stock on the secondary market, starting to allow some sales to go through with the idea of sort of two goals. First, doing price discovery around what range they might want to price their shares when they go public. And then also maybe trying to manage some volatility ahead of the listing. Um, this, is both, this is based on reporting that we've done with people familiar with types of sales. The company isn't commenting, um, but it does seem like demand is really high. So the last time Slack raised money, that was in August, uh, the shares were almost $12 a piece and the valuation was around $7 billion, like you said. And now, based on some of these sales that we've seen go through, um, which granted, you know, it's just, it could be small one-off type stuff, but it does seem to indicate um, a, an interest in Slack stock at at least double the price that the last funding round suggested. Well, and it's sort of the opposite of what we're seeing with Pinterest, which is now in the middle of a roadshow aiming to um, raise money at $3 billion less than its last um, private funding valuation. So why is there so much enthusiasm about Slack in particular? I think investors just see opportunity for a lot of growth. You know, it's, it's they've always had strong um, performance, a lot of people paying for the service, you know, they have a free version, but most people pay to access Slack. Um, they've had strong growth. I think people just see it as kind of a, a strong software bet. And um, yeah, I think there are also questions that remain, especially given Lyft's um, stock price performance in the last week. Absolutely. So talk to us about the roadmap for Slack from here and how that'll be different from a company that's going the traditional IPO route. Like what happens over the next few weeks and months? Right, so as we reported earlier, it seems like Slack is preparing to list on the New York Stock Exchange probably June or July, although as these things go, you know, we never really know mm -hmm. how it's gonna happen until it does. But unlike with a traditional IPO, the uh, direct listing means there's no lockup period for employees um, and there's no additional stock that is sort of released into the market, it's just current shareholders then have the ability to sell. So current shareholders and, and employees can sell right away? Yes, right away. And so that's very different for a lot of employees who are waiting for the IPO um, moment to sort of realize some of the value that they've made in their equity. Um, they What's get the motivation for that? So it's different um, with every company. So direct listings, just like with Spotify, work really well for companies that have a few things going for them. One if they have a lot of cash already on hand, which Slack does, and I think Spotify did as well. Two, if they don't need to do a lot of publicity around the IPO, and rather if they're kind of a household name, Spotify definitely did, you know, um, broad ranging consumer service. Slack, a little bit, um, you know, more business focused, but generally something that I think many people have exposure to. They know it, they like it, the product's really well made. Um, and so then they don't need to raise additional capital and they don't need to do the marketing associated with an IPO then they can actually do this direct listing instead, which tends to be favorable if you meet those qualifications, right? So Slack is in, everyone has said Slack is in a really strong position to do this. Some of the other companies that have been floated as potential direct listings, if this type of listing becomes more popular is for example, Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Similarly, really strong performing company with a lot of consumer, um, it's just really well known.